Um, to the week, I want to tell you that we had a very good week, very intensive week. We were good in training, very optimistic, very motivated, uh, good energy is in the team. I see that we are ready for, a, of course, very difficult game in Rijeka. What we have in front of us, we you know that we had in the last years problems when we played there, not only with Osijek, also when I was before in Dynamo, we also had all these tough games in Rijeka, so we know that this is a special game, it's an important game for us, we know also about the situation and we hope we will be the winner on the end of the day. Ovaj, što se tiče utakmice i toga, ne bi volio nešto previše najavljiva, znamo svi da e, je Rijeka sad na toj poziciji koja je, ali to nas ne smije zavarati. Ovaj, definitivno da je onu utakmicu kad smo pobjedili Kajduk, definitivno da smo htjeli i ovaj prošli tjedan onako povezati ovaj, i tu pobjedu, trebala nam je ta pobjeda protiv Šibenika, žao mi je stvarno što, što nije došlo do toga, jer smo s tim mogli krenuti onako neki stvarno pozitivan niz, ali dobro šta je tu je. Ovaj, što se tiče smjene trenera i toga, to su stvari koje se događaju u nogometu, mi smo profesionalci, fokusirani smo na, na teren, tako da evo, Renevo, kao, kao što se i zna, kao što je ekipa rekla, stvarno želimo ovaj, pomoći i naravno, mislim da samo ako smo zajedno u svemu ovome, da možemo doći do nekog zastavljaka ovaj tjedan, za razliku od možda nekih prošlih tjedan. Mislim čak i prošli tjedan bilo, ako iako je ovaj, to kako se sve to izdogađalo, ovaj, jednostavno, Ovaj, I taj tjedan smo pokušali isto onako, malo intenzivnije raditi, ali evo, ovaj tjedan mislim da je bio stvarno dosta intenzivan, što mislim da je, da je trebalo svima voda. A što se tiče mog stanja, sada sam stvarno evo, dobro radim, radim na sebi, naravno izgubio sam određeni dio priprema, poslije toga na pripremama sam ozlijedio ložu, poslije toga akvilovu tetivu koja me onako dosta mučila, ali evo, sada je to ovaj, stvar prošlosti, evo, ja se nadam da Ovaj, odnosno znam da sam, da sam spreman i da ću sve od sebe da, da pomogne ovoj ekipi. Of course I feel a lot of pressure. No, I'm joking. I, I, I can tell you that we are prepared. What I can do now as a coach is that I try my best to prepare the team that we are ready for 90 minutes fight. We have our clear idea how we want to play football there. Uh, we train it all the week and I think or I'm sure we are ready for that game and yeah pressure you know in our job in, in this in this type of job you have all the time pressure but it depends how you handle it and I can say for myself I'm now so many years in football and we played in Champions League in European League and I, I can say I have a lot of experience of course not as a first coach as you tell me also but I feel always always the same and I can tell it's a it's a little bit pressure but this give me motivation and give me motivation to be stronger and also prepare the team better and better and it's for me it's only a positive energy. So they know me there was not a lot to change but in Rijeka is for sure now everything new new energy new motivation maybe new tactical system so we must be ready for everything but we are prepared for that, we know that this is a new coach and we are expecting something but in the end we'll be maybe surprised but important is how we go there, how is our energy, how is our motivation, how we are ready to fight for this game and that is what I see in all this week that we are totally ready for that. And we don't think about what happens in Rijeka, of course they have new coach, there will be something new but in the end is counting these 90 minutes, there are 22 players on the beach who try to do the best and to be the winner on this day, and that's it. Injury players from the long term, they have some problems, uh, muscle problems, or some ligament problems, and, but I'm, I'm the coach who don't care about that. For me it's always important which player is ready to play, who can give the maximum on the beach. The injured players are working on the side, they have their own training, their therapists, and they try to come back to the team so fast as possible but generally for me it's important which player are ready to play which player can give 100% on the pitch and that is what is for me important and of course we have some problems now in that moment we have also problem with COVID again we have cases 
But in the end, as I said, I have to focus on the on the healthy players, on the players who are ready for the game, and this is the the highest priority from my side. For you, I can tell you that uh, Miles Koric for sure will not play. Pralic uh, is not ready to play. Pralic is. We have a, a big squad. We have a lot of players in the squad, and. Uh, until the, the, the time we have 11 healthy players on the field, I will be happy.